Dan, thank you. So King County's opioid epidemic is only getting worse. That is according to new numbers from county public health officials. You know, in King County alone, at least two people die from a fentanyl overdose every single day. And there are more than a thousand drug-related deaths in King County last year. Half of those deaths were from synthetic drugs like meth and fentanyl. DEA acting special agent in charge, Jake Galvan, joining us live this morning with more on how fentanyl is fueling our opioid epidemic. It is uh, really great to have you here. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, appreciate right. it. I can't imagine what the DEA is up against right now when we talk about fentanyl. It seems like there's a story regarding fentanyl in every one of our newscasts these days. Um, we recently talked about the price of fentanyl that that is going up. Has that made an impact on how much fentanyl is on the streets and the job that you all are trying to do? Well, the, the price is the price is very low. You can get a pill, um, a fake pill laced with fentanyl for less than a cup of coffee right now. Wow. And the cartels are flooding the United States with fentanyl now. And when I speak of the cartels, it's primarily the Sinaloa cartel mm -hmm. and the cartel known as CJNG or Cartel Jalisco New Generation that are responsible for this. So when you say flooding, I mean, how do you, where do you start? How do you put a stop to all of this? Well, we, we start with what we have to do is we have to drive down that want or that need. And that's our message to get out is that there is no pill that you can buy online that is safe. Mm -hmm. um, our one pill kill campaign is exactly what it says, is one pill will literally kill you because what we see is an, a lethal dose of fentanyl is two milligrams. And what we're seeing now on average is 2.4 milligrams in each pill that we seize. And that wow. six out of 10 of those pills that we're seizing are containing that lethal dose of fentanyl. That's wild. I mean, that's and that's also barely anything when you talk about, I mean, when you're talking about these grams, I mean, that's minuscule. It, it is because a fentanyl is used uh, in hospitals every day for outpatient procedures, oh. surgical procedures, but these dosages are way higher than, than what is used in the medical field. And we also, I know you mentioned this here that we're trying to get the word out about this because it is National Fentanyl Awareness Day as well. Um, and spreading the word, it sounds like, is really going to have a big impact in saving lives. It is, it is, and this is an important an opportunity to remember the victims of fentanyl poisonings mm -hmm. and also educate people in our communities about the dangers to our national security and um, also uh, how, how our communities can help and learn how to avoid these things. Okay, uh, so we've, you know, we've seen, especially last week, we talked a lot about this. I know that the state legislature is talking about their own drug bans and their, their own different laws, but a lot of localities like Bellingham are trying to pass their own laws about banning public drug use. Um, are those types of things going to work in the fight against fentanyl? Well, I, what, what I would say was work, and we're a law enforcement agency, is my, my job is to get this word out that one pill is deadly, that there's no yeah. fake pill that you can get on the internet, and we will work with our law enforcement partners, both at the state, local, and federal levels, with whatever laws are available to us. Okay. All right. Uh, and so also this, so I, mean, I mean, when it comes to what you guys are doing out on the streets here, um, what do people, what especially families, I mean, what do people need to know about fentanyl usage? I mean, what do you do if, if this is your family member or one of your friends? How, how can you help? It, it's important that, that families, they have these talks with their children mm -hmm. and or with their friends to let them know, again, that there is no safe pill out there. You can't get a legitimate pill online. And, and the cartels are using social media. That's the highway that they use to get this um, up here, they, they use that as a digital highway. Seriously? They use the I-5 corridor from the southern border uh -huh. to here to transport uh, the fake pills here. And it's that important that, that we get that word out that if, if somebody gives you a pill, don't take it. Even if it's your best friend, if it's another family member, you don't know where that came from because literally that one pill can kill you. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good message. DEA Special Agent in Charge, Jake Galvan. Galvan thank you so much for being, with the, <clears throat> excuse me, for being with us this morning. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Absolutely.